All right, we're going to drag and drop things. Uh, the previous video I did on this had some technical problems, so I'm redoing this. Uh, it worked, but it worked for the wrong reasons. Um, that sometimes happens. Okay, so we're. Uh, this is what my window looks like. It's uh, very simple. It's a window, and it's called window. Uh, see the names there. Uh, there's a fixed one, which is a fixed container. Um, this is something new. It's an event box. It's a container. Event boxes are found down here someplace. Um, well, wherever it is here, it's an event box is in there someplace. I don't see it. There it is right down there. There's they would alphabetize those. All right, so there's an event box. Inside the event box is an image. The image is coming from a file. It's a small image of a car. It's not a big image, uh, but it's in the event box. Um, you can put anything in an event box that you can put in just about any other container. So it doesn't have to have an image. You could have other things in here too, uh, or instead. Um, okay, so the image uh, is there. The, the event box, when, when I go to drag this item across the screen, I'm going to hold down the left button on the mouse and drag. Okay, and I want to move the event box to follow the uh, follow the cursor. That's the idea. That's the dragging bit that we're talking about. I can't do it directly on an image because images cannot receive the appropriate signal. So, and this is true of, of several items that draw directly to the um, to the home screen. Uh, they do, GDK doesn't see them, and GDK is the one that's handling mouse events. So uh, that's a desktop system. Um, so we have the event box, which is a container for the purpose of placing in the container items that don't can't receive the notify signal um, movement notify signal themselves. Um, the ones that can't um, here we are in a page from um, the GNOME developer. You can see it up there at the top. A GTK tutorial. Um, these are the um, objects that cannot receive, well, these are the objects that can't receive uh, motion um, notifies. And you'll see image is one of them here. Where is it? Um, PixMac, there's image. Okay, so in those cases, you have to use an event box, which is why we're using an event box in order to move things around. The previous thing, I was uh, pulling the notify for the entire window and using that to drag the image, which is perfectly legal, but it meant I could only have one movable thing on the, on the page at a time. In this case here, I could have multiple movable things. They'd be in separate boxes. All right, what is the signal? The signal is uh, motion notify event. On event one, motion notify event. So when I go to drag it, left click, drag, uh, this is what gets called. And I will process it and as a result, move uh, the event box to wherever the um, cursor is now located. All right, let's look at the code. If I can find it here, there it is. Um, all right, um, not much change. Uh, we've got a fixed one, window, event one. And the usual um, pulling them out of the G, uh, of the the builder and so forth. Uh, nothing unusual. I changed the relative size of the uh, window to 500 to 700 versus previous episodes. And pick any number you want. Um, and I've I've made it uh, above it so it'll attempt to be on top of any other windows. Again, you, it's optional. It has nothing to do with the point I'm trying to make. All right, here is the. Um, on event one motion notify event. And obviously what you want to do is you want to find out where the cursor is. Well, the cursor is hiding. Uh, you get uh, you, the Boolean, first of all. If you return true, it tells the system no further processing of this event. If you return false, it says you may continue processing this event if there are other handlers that want to process this event. I'm returning true, telling it to stop. But in this particular case, if you return false, there's nothing else to be done anyway. All right. What do you get? You get a pointer to the event box, which I called E. And you get the GTK event motion event. This is the event of movement. And it's a stru it's either, that's a pointer to a structure. And in the structure, there are things regarding the movement. All right. Um, what are we going to pull out? First of all, we're going to pull out X event, which is uh, the event pointer. Uh, the, the element of the structure is called x root, and there's y root, which is also an element of the structure. So I'm extracting out the integer values of x root and y root as pointed to by event. 
Okay, these are relative to your main window, to your screen. To your, the screen you're looking at. Not, not the actual window that where this program is running, but the entire screen. These are screen relative. Well, and I print it out. Um, these, uh, this is interesting, but it depends, of course, upon where the window is. I mean, you know, the window's over here. If it's over here, knowing, you know, that the cursor is this far from the upper left vertex is not all that useful. I want to know where it is relative to this, to, the, to this window itself. Okay. Well, I print it out. You can see it. We'll play with it. Um, X and Y are also come in the event, but they are relative to the event window, to the GTK event window. And when you're dragging, that's really not going to change um, because you're, you know, not, well, it changes a little bit, but you're kind of in the window and it doesn't tell you are relative to the larger window that the event window is in. Okay, but I print that out. Okay, um, uh, let's see here. Uh, first of all, I um, start, I, I get the window. Um, I need to get the GDK, notice it's GDK window, associated with the event box. Because I'm these signals are coming in from GDK, the desktop. That, that guy owns the mouse. So first of all, find out where the... Um, where the event box is in GDK. You get a pointer to a structure which has information that GDK knows about. The function to do it is GTK widget get window, and I pass down E, which is the pointer to the um, event box, and uh, I have to cast it as a widget because this, uh, this function is rather agnostic, but it, it just takes widgets, so it has to be cast down to a widget. Uh, everything is a widget at some point. And I declare an X and a Y here. Uh, these are actual variables in the program. Okay, um, get position. And I pass it the event box and I get a value of X and Y. What this is going, and I print it out, this is telling me where the event box is in the larger window, not the screen, the window. Okay, so this is going to tell me where the event box is in my created window. Regardless of where the window is on the screen, it's going to tell me where the event box is. Much of this I'm printing out just for information. I'm not really using it. Uh, then I want the, the width and height of the event box. And you can get them with these two functions. One gets the width, another gets the height, and again they take widgets. And I print out the height and width. All right, next one down here. Um, we need to get the uh, the we need to get the pointer to the window to the GTK window to the that were that contains I, I got the word window kind of um, using it in multiple contexts here but the the larger window the, which is called window which contains fixed which contains event one which contains image two I think it was uh, that window I need the pointer to that window that's the one I want to get stuff relative to. So this gets me the GDK um, pointer for my main window, the one I'm, I've, I'm building. Seat is a pointer to a table of available devices to that window. Now, what's available to the window? Well, the mouse is available to the window and probably the keyboard. That's probably the only two devices that are available to the window. I don't know. There may be others. But first of all, you get a, you get a pointer to the, all the available devices. The, and they call it seat. I don't know why. Uh, GDK seat. But anyway. And then from those devices, you can pull out the pointer which references the actual mouse itself. Um, and um, um, get seat pointer, okay? And you pass down the, the pointer from the previous line. Okay, um, now I can get the position of the mouse uh, relative to my window. Okay, GDK, GDK, notice we're not saying GT, we're saying D as in dog. Uh, get device position, I pass down the window, I pass down the mouse, pass down the address of X and the address of Y, and null. Uh, the last parameter there uh, can have modifiers or pick up information like whether the uh, shift control is down or, the, uh, or alt or something like that. It picks up additional information which I don't need for this purpose. So null means uh, we don't want anything there. All right, and I print out the GDK mouse 
uh, coordinates. You can see a lot of this is just informational material. Um, it, it, it doesn't really, uh, th this is, a, you know, it doesn't really do anything. X and Y are what I'm, I'm interested in. All right, uh, then GTK move. I'm moving using GTK, the event box. Um, the event box is moving within fixed one. Fixed one is the parent of event box, and um, event box is E, so I'm moving event box within fixed. Of course, fixed takes up the entire window. Um, and where am I moving it to? I'm moving it to X and Y, basically, X by Y. But um, if I, I've added in, I subtract the horizontal divided by two, in other words, the width divided by two and the height divided by two, this will cause the cursor, the mouse cursor, to be in the center of the um, of the object as I move it, which looks a little bit more pleasing to the eye. If you didn't do this, uh, the cursor, the arrow, would be pointing at the upper left vertex of the image or the event box as it's being moved. I think this looks better. It's up to you. Now return true. Um, this code down here is actually being compiled, but it's not being executed, obviously. Um, a question that seems to come up on the internet is how do you actually move the cursor itself? And this is how you do it. If you need to, if you want to move the cursor, um, you get the screen from GDK, the default screen, which is the one you're looking at usually, and um, you use a program called GDK Device Warp. You pass the device name, which is uh, the device pointer, mouse, uh, the screen pointer, and the X and Y. Which, this will move the um, the cursor on the entire screen. If you were to do it, of course, it would generate another movement event, especially if you're holding, still holding down the left button on the mouse. So you get a cascade. So I've, I've pulled it out here. I was playing with it earlier, but I thought I'd leave it in here as an example. All right, so basically it's fairly straightforward, is that I come down and I want to find out where the, where the mouse is moved to, and I want to then move the event box to that location. That's all I'm doing. And uh, really start doing it um, down here uh, when I get the, horiz the, the horizontal and vertical dimensions of the, uh, of the event box. And then I, what I'm doing here is finally get X and Y, which is the actual position of the mouse. And then I move the thing. I move the event box within the larger container called fixed one. So the, this is really all the code that really works here that does anything. The rest of it is just illustrating um, how confusing it can be. Um, so we compile it. All right. Um, and I'm going to move this over here because we're going to see a lot of numbers jump around. Uh, first of all, you can see it's actually working. I'm, and you notice the cursor is right on the tire there. It's in the center of the, uh, of the image, which as opposed to being up here, which is where it would be otherwise. Okay, so I'm moving it. Um, GTK root coordinates. Let's, look, let's move it all the way up, he, up here. Um, if I move it right there... Um, what am I getting? The, oh, the root, it's, it's giving me the position of the mouse. Um, and the mouse, of course, has been moved uh, further into the, into the image. So um, you're seeing a couple of things there. Um, so the root coordinates are 8375, which is, um, which is the, this position right here. Um, but you see in the event, in the second set of coordinates, which are the event coordinates, 80 by 48, um, well... Uh, Let's see, event box. But they don't change very much. They fl flicker a little bit, a, a, a pixel here, a pixel there, because basically as I'm dragging it, I, I'm staying in the same place inside the, um, inside the event box. Now, there is a little fluctuation because I'm moving and it's updating, and sometimes it'll update after it gives me the information or before or something like that, and so, it, so they'll be a little bit off, but they're basically it's the center. It's just telling me the what the center of the, um, of the event box is. This guy, okay, this first guy here, the root coordinates, if I move, you know, it's the root, root coordinates over here were kind of relative to 0, 0, up in the upper left corner. Now you'll see that they're huge. 1322 by 299. That's because the, the, the box got moved over here. And um, the further I move the box away, because it's giving me the coordinates of that of the mouse uh, the cursor relative to the upper left-hand corner of the screen, which is not very useful. Uh, it's not what I really want. I want to know where it is relative to this screen. That's what I was 
trying to get across earlier is there's, there's this, the large screen here, uh, which is your, your display, and then there's the actual screen with the window that's got stuff in it. In any event, um, when I start moving stuff around, uh, event box position. This is the event box position relative to um, rel relative to this window. Now, what have I got it? At? Event box position minus one zero. So it means the upper left hand corner of the event box is at um, minus one and zero. That's this is zero zero. It's right up here. Okay. Uh, this sometimes changes with different uh, different software as to whether or not. Um, in your window, whether it's at this location here or if it's up at this location, there are differences. It will okay, but anyway, in this particular case, it's coming in relative to there, and that's about as close as I can get it to getting it to zero zero. I don't yeah, minus two. Let's try to get it to minus. Yeah, I got it to zero zero. Okay, so the upper left-hand corner is at zero zero. Um, the, the height and width haven't changed. They've been ninety-seven and one sixty all along. Um, and the uh, mouse, uh, GDK mouse coordinates uh, will be at 80 and 47. That is where I'm, I'm uh, placing it, which is right on the tire. All right. So, yes, it does work, and that's how it works. Uh, it's kind of confusing with all these different uh, numbers as to where the mouse is and the mouse relative to what? Is it relative to this window? Is it relative to this window? Is it relative to this window? So there's a lot to sort out, but it's actually fairly fairly simple. And you can now drag and drop multiple things. If you have multiple event boxes, they can each have their own event handler, and you can drag and drop as you see fit. So there we are.